In the weeks following the fall of the Dark Lord Sauron, there had been raging festivities across all of Middle-earth. Mankind had emerged triumphant. Yet, there was one Rohirrim that was somber. After single-handedly turning the tide of the war and vanquishing the forces of darkness, Ron Baringsworth had brought forth an age of peace to the continent. While this was a cause for celebration for near everyone else, to Ron, this meant the end of battle. No more wars, no more proving himself on the field of combat. Thus, after a few weeks, he made the fateful decision to ride south to the coast, take one last look at his home, Rohan, off in the distance, and set sail in search of a new land to test his mettle. All right, so what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is BMP here. Welcome to a new season of Perizno. God, it has been a little while since the last one. Today we are on version 0.99. Come on, man. Why couldn't you just say 1.0? Bannerlord is, is a month away. Why couldn't you just say 1.0? Um, I'm looking forward to this, guys. I hope you didn't mind that little opening, opening cinematic, if you want to call it that. Uh, I forget who it was, one of you guys, shout out to you that had the idea to bring Ron Baringsworth into Prisno. That was fantastic. I love Ron Baringsworth as a character, and that was a great call. For those of you who don't know, Ron Baringsworth was our character in the Last Days mod, the last series that we did. Uh, and he is, think of him as a mix of Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec with Chuck Norris. Like their godchild. <laughs> The baddest Rohirrim in all of Rohan. The manliest man you've ever seen. The only guy to look the eye of Sauron. And then the eye blinked. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get started here. It has been... Actually, I should have looked this up. How long has it been since we've played Perizna? Who was the last character? I remember Torvik, but I don't think Torvik wasn't the last guy. Who was the last guy? Was it the elf? Didn't we play as an elf? Lothlin Sunbeam. That sounds familiar, but once again, I don't know if that was the last guy. We've played... Guys, this, this is going to be like our fourth or fifth playthrough of Perizno. And generally, we conquer most of the map. I know I've conquered the entire map at least once, and it gets hellish towards the end, because all the lords flock to the one remaining faction. And I think I remember that being the Realm of the Falcon, with Torvik Underhelm. And I remember a specific siege... That had 15,000 troops in it. Hopefully we do not go through that again. <laughs> so, welcome to the land of Perizno, where elves and giants roam in the ancient moors and forests. Where dwarves craft great works and men form mighty empires. Dragons lurk in dark abodes of stories old, with vast and exotic lands abound. There are many powerful kingdoms and empires waging war for control of all the land, whilst smaller groups and factions stake out their own claims and rivalries sowing havoc and destruction in their wake upon the populace. You have chosen to rise into greatness to find your destiny. Enter, adventurer, into the world of Perizno. All right. So let's see, what are we, what are we doing here? Uh, troop proficiency level, standard, sure. Uh, do not want Fog of War. Hard, ooh, what is hard mode? I don't know what hard mode is. We'll be playing on maximum difficulty, but I don't know what hard mode does, so we're going to avoid that, because that might have permadeath or something in there. Uh, ooh, hello. All right, choose your gender, man. Choose. Oh, this is sick. Did, I, did they change this? I do not remember this the last time we played. All right, uh, Ron is human. Damn, this is slick. God, this kind of reminds me of making a character for, like, Boulder's Gate. All right, so where, ooh, where were you born? A land far from Perizno. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, what are the other ones? Okay, yeah, no, definitely that one. Uh, who is your father? Um, say a veteran warrior. The Baringsworth clan is a long, long lineage of warriors. Uh, what did you enjoy as a child? Uh, swimming, stealing, crafting, reading, scouting, riding, shooting. Swim, uh, I guess swimming, probably. I don't know what else, uh, riding maybe? What does that give us? 
Probably riding over swimming. Oh my god, that gives us three points in riding? Hell yeah. <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> what was your first adult job? Uh, yeah, it would be an army recruit. I would say it would be his background as a Rohirrim. Uh, and why did you begin adventure? Uh, because of a strange edict? No, no. Uh, because of wandered lust, I guess, kind of? Not really money and power. He's got all the power. He's got plenty of money and sway back in Middle Earth. He was looking for prestige. For renown. And honestly, not even that, just to prove it to himself. So I'd say f for Wanderlust? I don't know if that's right. Maybe money and power would be right. Not so much the money, and the, but more like power in terms of renown and fame. Mm. Personal revenge. Nah, we'll do this. We'll do this. For money and power. I think that's the closest. I think that... He wasn't really forced out of his home, was he? Is that is that fair? <laughs> forced out of his home? No. Money and money and power, I suppose. All right. There we go. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. Damn right. Realistic saving. All choices made are final. Uh, all right. Attributes. What are we doing here? Okay. So, here's the thing. Uh, in the essence of time, because Bannerlord is only a month away, we do want to wrap this series up before then, hopefully, although that is a tall order. Uh, at least we don't want it to bleed too much into Bannerlord. Uh, and because we've already played this character, I want, to con I want to bring some of his stats over, but I don't want to just start him at level 30. So I think, as a compromise, because he's Ron Baringsworth, we're just going to give him a free, uh, I will say a free 6 strength. That seems fair. Six strengths and a couple points into uh, these skills. Honestly, attributes are, are not that big of a deal in Prisno because you just get given free attribute points nonstop <laughs> throughout the entire playthrough. Uh, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, and if I remember correctly, you actually go up to 45 and you can go up to 15 in each, each of these skills. So I mean, honestly, six strength is probably not even like all that much, but whatever. It'll, uh, it'll do a little something, something for us. All right, so we'll get the power strike. Uh, Iron Flash? Why not? Um, Ron Baringsworth, as most of you guys know who have seen me play before, I am very much a horse archer. Ron Baringsworth does not use a bow. He uses his lance, his sword, and anything that he can throw. Um, so we'll throw like a, another point into there. Already have four weapon master, which is fantastic to start out as. Um, I, I guess a little bit of shield wouldn't hurt. There we go. Uh, we'll upgrade throwing weapons, just because that's the hardest to level up. It's pretty balanced in terms of proficiencies. And then, of course, Ron Baringsworth. All right. Oh, no, that will not do... Oh, wow, my... Those eyes. I think I just fell in love. Holy shit. Can you be blonde? Oh, my God, he can. Ron Baringsworth... Uh, on his voyage over here, <laughs> he uh, got he just got really into one of those self care like uh, <laughs> skin skin care routines that you find on Facebook, and man, it worked. All right, but he needs his legendary beard, of course. What's the biggest, best beard that they got? Yeah, I think that might be pretty decent. Anything? Oh, oh, boy! If I had ovaries, they would have exploded. Ooh, my God. Is that, is that Thor? Is that is that Chris Hemsworth right there? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Wow. What a stunner. Uh, we will age him up just a little bit. I mean, it only took him like less than a year in game to destroy Sauron, by the way. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll age him up just a little bit. What a looker. What a looker. All right, where are we headed to? Um, I would... Well, so he's coming by way of ship. So I would say probably Makavia. It's Makavia or Leuven. Um, I feel like Ron would fit in pretty well in in Makavia though. Torania, Torania is more like the the Gondor of of Perizno. Makavia is definitely much more of the Rohan. Either Makavia or the Valahir clan. Um, we'll go to Makavia. All right. You take passage with a trading longship carrying ooh gear falcons. Not sure what that is. Uh, from the furthest reaches of the north to be bartered for linen and wool. Uh, it is still early in the season, but the captain reckons that the risk 
uh, or the risks of drifting ice and later winter storms could be justified by an arrival ahead of Volhir, uh, who by April would be sailing forth from the Sanian layers to ravage Perizno's coast. It is, it is with some relief that when the thatched roofs and narrow canals of the ford come into sight uh, after passing through the valley here straight, you have entered the home to the Volhir's distant kinsmen, the Macavian lords, who a few generations ago carved themselves a kingdom in this rich but troubled land. All right, approach the town of Ford. Oh, wow, we just saw the... Boy, what the fuck is... Where is... Where is everything? We have to discover it all? Are you kidding me? Nah. Well, actually, this is pretty accurate. This is his first time on the land. Damn it, I don't want to do this, but we're going to. We got to discover all this by hand. Also, where's my horse at? The dude has four horse riding. You're telling me we left our trusty steed back in... Ugh. All right. Welcome to Brisno Adventurer. Okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. This mod is a bit harder than native. Um... Just out. You are just one of thousands of men out there to, who seek to change the future. Referring to Ron as just a man is a little bit insulting, but okay. So Talrania, yeah, okay, they're the standard medieval faction. The Reich des Drachen is like, you know, Germany, if Germany had dragon knights. Uh, Drahara, they're kind of the Middle Eastern faction. Hakan, kind of more Romans, almost? Roman-ish? But not as Roman as, like, there's an actual, like, Roman <laughs> faction. Uh, what's it? What are their names? Not a Lintor, that's the elves. I forget what the... V? Venator? Yeah, Venator, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then the Elven Kingdom of Elintor. Alright. Minor factions, all that good stuff. Cool. Um, alright, so we're here. Is there no beginning mission for this? All right, well, let's just go up and shank the first person we see. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, huh. Volga Tear Storm. Uh, are you one of the traveling... Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. yeah, okay, I forgot. Each faction has a specific person that sells their mercenaries. That's right. Oh, is this the... No, that's for Moon. Damn it. All right, well... Ron's just gonna do what he does best, and... Start killing bad people, if possible. Wait, we don't have a freaking horse. Do... Hmm. Boy, and these are kind of... Exp oh my god, what is this? Oh, this menu is, is strange. Wow, they have changed a lot. <laughs> they have changed a lot, it feels like. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, before I get too far, let's go ahead... And give him some strength. Alright, there we go. That's looking just a little bit better. 22 strength now, and we gave him 2 points in power strike, 2 points in power throw. Alright. I feel like that at least somewhat fairly represents Ron Baringsworth. Uh, this is going to be very interesting. I've never not started with a horse before. Hmm. What can we do? God, we can't, I can't even like find the little uh, mercenary or er, uh, training camps along the way. Robbers? All right, well, this has got to be it. Yo, come here. I need some money. Apparently, the resource points in, uh, <laughs> in the last day's mod don't carry over too well for this. Right, hopefully, these guys aren't too tough. The fuck? These guys are literally running away from me. Has my... Has the tale of, of Ron's exploits spread this far? Look at them on the minimap. They're literally running away. What is... Hold up, hold up. We might have to go into mod settings after this and fiddle around and turn whatever this bullshit is off. Alright, we're almost here. Okay, they're finally walking towards me. Alright, boys, come on. Let's... Oh, and you're backing up again. Alright. Alright. Okay, you got some throwing weapons here? Oh, a few of them have bows, even. That's cute. What? No, no. Boy. If we gonna fight, then we gonna fight. Come on. Actually, I might pick up some of these knives. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go back over the crest of the hill. GG. Where's some of these throwing knives at? Because we have throwing skill. We can just <laughs> whip it back out at them. Where'd they go? I actually kind of want to pick some of these up. Hmm. All right, come on. Dude, I hate this AI. What is this AI? This is going to take forever. Forever. 
Ooh, ooh. What you know about it? Ooh, hello. GG's. <laughs> this is kind of weird. Ooh, ouch, okay. Wait, hold up. Aha! Yes, there's a heal skill in this! And unlike, unlike Middle Earth, it regenerates every 60 seconds. It's not once per battle. I love it. I love it. All right, y'all are gonna have to come to me. I'm not just gonna sit here and let you shoot at me all day long until my shield breaks. Come on. Bring it back. All right, where are these... Seriously, where did those knives end up? The problem is they're knives. And I think they blend into the snow pretty well. Like, that's... We can't throw that one. GG's. Oh, ooh, ooh, throwing knives. Hold up. I just saw one on the ground. Where's that at? See, they're like invisible. You can't even see them. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Where? Where are the damn throwing knives at? Oh, ooh, wait. Nope. <laughs> nope. Regular knife. Uh, why would I? Aha! I got one. All right, buddies. Damn it. <laughs> we missed. <laughs> another one. Oh, aha. We found another one. Hey, okay, 10 damage, not that much. It's kind of rare for bandits to have bows like these. Like the, I, I'm assuming this is the equivalent to looters in Perizno. Like they're not great. Their melee weapons were absolute trash. Armor, also awful. But they actually had bows. It was not terrible. Okay, GG. And the very first of many to come. Battles. Victories. Glory seeking man, get the fuck out of here. I'm a glory seeking man. There, we don't need two of us. Alright, right, something tells me this is, <laughs> this is not going to be enough money to get us a horse. 90 fucking worms, god damn it. <laughs> uh, hmm. Alright. Oh boy. No, no, come on. They're so much faster than me too. Holy shit, they're so much faster than me. Run! Find a, a castle! Oh, oh, oh we're alive. Makan. Get to Makan. Get to Makan. Get to Makan. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Tournament! Aha! I don't know if we stand much of a chance, but damn it, we gonna try. Alright, sell after... Here? Hmm. Ooh. We didn't have anything good down there, did we? Where'd it go? Where'd, where'd all my loot go? Doesn't it? Hmm? Uh, well. Huh. I really hope we didn't have anything good at the bottom. I don't think we did, but... <laughs> I guess you never know. Alright, alright. So I want to do this tournament, but... If memory serves, I think you can bet up to 500 dinars or orms around here. So, I'd like a little more starting cash. Melee fights... The reward is a thousand if you survive the whole thing. Might as well try it. Might get a little bit of XP out of it. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Okay. All right. That's what we like to see. Can I run up here? Oh, damn it. Nope. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Well, this is going to take a while. I'll be back once this is finished. All right. Level up. We're getting... We're almost halfway there. About half... I think 40 in total, right? Ah, down we go. We had five of them gang up. I don't know. Realistically, three of them ganged up on us. But alright, we got a decent amount of kills there. That should give us... Alright, 200 orms. I'll take it, I'll take it. We got a little level up in as well, so that's always worth it. Give me a little more iron flesh, I suppose. And... I think we're just gonna keep putting these into throwing for the time being. I don't... Hmm. I get the feeling this is not... A... A mounted tournament. There won't be too many horses here. Alright, how much money do we have? 984... Oh my god, we're so close, actually. Oh, we're so close to being able to... All right, you know what? I will be right back. Ah, all right, there we go. Another 10 kills. That should give us enough cash to bring us over 1,000 so we can bet twice. All right, 80 worms. Not too bad, not too bad. All right. Whew, okay, so this is uh, this is going to be a rough tournament. I'm not even... I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We are very underleveled, literally level 2, and we are going against quite overpowered people. Uh, I don't like our odds here, but... If we could somehow win this, it would be huge. This would be a giant boost to us starting out. So I'm going to try. Oh, 
Oh, man. All right. God. What are the participants looking? Oh, oh my goodness. Agathor Krex, which is the leader of Maccabi, if I remember correctly. Actually, wait. I thought it was... Wasn't it a queen? Don't they have a queen? Hmm. Not sure who that is, actually. Lord Licinius, Lord Jormungand. Uh, these are all their kind of special people, like their Kratos type people. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, we're so fucked, I feel like. Okay. To me! To me! Everyone to me! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold back, hold back, hold back. One at a time, one at a time, one at a time. What the fuck? Both of them just went after me. Oh, we got Agathor Krex on our side. This is a easy dub. Look, Jesus. They're wrecking face right now. Alright, boys. This way. Make a shield wall for me. Alright, 5v4. Let's do this thing. Go in. Give me a kill. I'm doing, like, no damage at all. <laughs> Man, the armor in this is actually pretty insane. Alright, is everyone... Everyone is sword and shield, though. I kind of like that. But the problem is we're, we're, pro we're inevitably probably going to get outnumbered here. And there's no way in hell I'm winning a 1v2. Not with how little damage we're doing. I feel like we're out of place right now. I don't like it. Everyone's so fucking fast in this mod, man. Not even just they're swinging, but they're so athletic. We're getting lucky our teammates are cleaning up, but we're not doing much. God, I mean, I like our odds in a 1v1, but a uh, 2v... 2v1? Which is inevitably probably going to happen. All right, right here, right here, right here, right here, boys. Come here, come here, come to me, come to me, come to me. All right, all right, let's do this. 4v2 right here. Whoops. Oh, I hit the wrong button. When did I hit that? <laughs> that guy decided he had had enough of facing us. Nice. Jesus, we're just not doing anything. Uh, fire at will. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang tight here. Hang tight here. I right, come forward a little bit. All right, four v two, four v two. We like that. We like that. Go in, go in. I'm scared of get. I'm scared of getting one shot. If I'm being honest. All right, there we go. Hey, we took out Agathor Crex. Nice. This is us with seven power strike. By the way. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ooh, 1v1. Nice, nice. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Play cool. Now remember, this guy can probably two-tap us. Oh, she's fast, whoever this is. Ooh. She, that was a very glancing blow, and she still did 13 to us. That's just a sword sister, too. That wasn't even someone good. Oh, man. Okay, all right, all right. Another 1v1. We get to finish this with three straight one-to-ones. That's oh, so lucky for us, although the people we're going against are terrifying. Good luck, us. Good luck. We will need it. We will very much need it. Yeah, all right. Bait out the shot. Oh, he's fast. You want this work? Come get this work. Let's go. Sit down, Clathis. All right. Is it me versus... Oh, Agathor loss. It's me versus Spearmaster. Conveniently, we're using swords. <laughs> all right. All right. Come on. Do you know who you're dealing with? You're dealing with Ron Paringsworth. This man could win a boxing match against Tyson Fury. And Deontay Wilder at the same time. That's a pretty good fight, by the way. I'm, I'm recording this right after that fight. There we go! That's a lot of money. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Yes. 20 renown, some honor, and 13k in total. And we get to join the feast. All right, time to uh, brush up, get a little close to some of these nobility, and make sure they know who the fuck Ron Baringsworth is. Power move. Assert dominance. Stand on his table. Do I know you? 
Me? I am Ron Baringsworth. Uh, all right, I, I missed what else you said, but yo, what's, <laughs> what's good? Uh, ladies, how you doing? Ooh, this guy's looking fly in that fur coat. Lord Jormungand. Is this your, uh, is your, is your boo right here? Is this your boo right here? What, what would happen if we were to, uh, slide in? All right. Uh, can I have the honor of knowing more about you? Sister to Lord ben Benunius? Banana. Lord Banana. <laughs> All right, 29. Nice. Probably around the same age as, uh, as our boy Ron. All right, I would like to dedicate my successes in this recent tournament to you. And she's about it. Yes. Okay. Hey, girl. I'll catch you later. That's it for right now. You don't want to don't wanna seem too needy. Actually, wait. Can we just have an ardent admirer straight off the bat? Can we even attempt to do that? We have, like, no renown. Would that even go well? Oh, my goodness. Wheeling from the first episode. I've never had this kind of progress right off the bat. We had no horse, just this tunic, a sword, and that was it. We killed a band of looters. We went straight into the nearby town, won the tournament, after betting all the money that we had on ourselves, walked in, and got ourselves a lady. And I can almost pronounce half of her name. This is fantastic. All right, well, <laughs> shoot. I'm gonna get a horse. Uh, preferably one that isn't lame. Okay, this will work. We just needed something fast. We wanted something fast. Doesn't have to necessarily be tanky, just something fast for right now. Uh, 140 hit points, 13 armor. That's not nothing. Not nothing. 44 speed is pretty good. We'll take it. Uh, deal? What? 174. Dude, I, I don't know if I like this system. It doesn't show me how much we're losing versus gaining when we do this stuff. All right, whatever. Uh, I think some upgrades are in order. I would like a lance very much because that's what Ron does. Lance people. Uh, and then throwing weapons would also be nice. If we could get some of those. What, what do we got there? Ooh, wee. They're bent. I don't want bent axes. Give me some functional ones. What's this? Oh my goodness. This sword. rusty dark bastard sword. This thing looks legit. It's a two-handed, one-handed. Or we can just get... Wait, is this a better version of it? Oh my god, 110 weapon reach. Only 900? Easy. We'll take that. Uh, Take this shield. That looks pretty good. And I want something that we can throw. Maybe we'll take the Jared's. 42 piercing damage. That'll do work. That will, in fact, do work. Yeah, we'll grab those. Balanced Hurlbat. Hurlbat? I'm confused. I don't know what a Hurlbat is. I'm sure we'll find out at some point. Alright. Deal. Alright, so that was 7,500. That was a decent chunk of change, I will admit. But I think it was well worth it. We've got 5k left. Shall we get ourselves a nice suit of armor? I think we shall. We could just afford this one. 54 and 19. Uh, come on. I want to try it on. I don't like how you can't try it on. I want to see how it looks before I buy it. Hmm. Hmm. Um... I mean, the stats are pretty damn similar. I think this one looks a little... Well, which one's more his style? Actually, technically, this one has better stats on it. 51 and 23 is one more than 54 and 19. Rusty blue coat. Sure. I think that looks a little fancier than the Lamellar armor, maybe. Yoink. All right. Well, that's most of our money. Uh, okay. Ron entered Makan as a broke boy. <laughs> Not much to his name. He is now leaving Makan with 
honestly a decent set of equipment to start out. <laughs> Look at this! What? <laughs> Started at the bottom, and now we're here. That's right. That's right. Uh, okay, let's... <laughs> I love it. Okay, let me find a quick fight with, like, some more looters or something like that. And, uh, I think we can wrap up the episode there. This has been fantastic. Alright, we've got a group of nine robbers here, but, I mean, I was looking for a little bit bigger prey, if I'm being honest. But I guess we can mess around with these guys and, uh, try to use the Jareds a little bit. That, yeah, that, that'll be fine, actually. And we still get 14 renown for this battle? Really? Really? We're getting as much renown for this, almost, as, as winning that tournament? I mean, I know it's a 1v... Seven? How many of them are there? I don't know. Ron can't count. <laughs> oh, fuck. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> oh, the headshot! Oh, the horse! Wow, horse, horse is very not tanky. But, man, these... These javelins! These Jareds! Right, they're probably about to take out the horse, actually. Let's, uh... Oh, there's speed. There's horse speed scaling in this mod. I forgot. I hate that. I hate that. All right, let's use the heal on ourselves. <laughs> Two hit points. All right, well, it's better than nothing. All right, let's hop off this thing. You want to go? Let's go. Let's go, lads. GG. 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 Who else want it? I'll use the lance. You think I won't? Boy, get shish kebab. Whew. Whew. Can't even touch me. Get out of here. Oh, there's another one. You'll get the sword. What do you got? Oh no, just a little, just a little bow. Go ahead, hit me. No, 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 hit me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, shoot me. No, no, don't shoot me. Actually, stab me. Like a man. This is. Come on. What are you doing? Hmm. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Why won't he take out his knife? <laughs> He's dancing. All right, get out of here. Let's go, baby. Perizno, let this serve as a warning. You are being you are being put on notice. Ron Baringsworth has arrived, and nothing will ever be the same. So good. Wait, I'm trying to remember. Is Prisoner one where you can like shift click a bunch of stuff over? I think that that might just be for prisoners. All right, I want a little more of a challenging fight. I want an actual, you know, threat. Let me see if I can't find something. All right, here we go, boys. This is it. So I found this juicy group of deserters, or well, actually they found me and I paid them off. <laughs> I gave them seventy orms to leave me alone. I wasn't sure what all was in there. Uh, but we've got some Draken Dragoners and some Draken Cavalry. And so basically, the Reich is known for having the best heavy cav in all of Perizno. And these are some of their units. There's eight of them. I think I can... Uh, boy, I think I can pull this off. It's, it's not going to be easy. But I think it's doable. Alright, so there they are. Hmm. They're spreading out. Hail Mary? Hail Mary. Damn, those things fly. Whoop. Missed me. Alright. Here we go. So, what's the game plan here? Um. Let's see how much damage we're doing to these guys. With our sword. 37? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right, screw your horse. Oh, 62. That was clean. I love it. I love it. That's one down. All right. Oh, shit. These guys ain't too bad. 300 XP for him, though. These guys, they're worth a lot. I will say, I think they could possibly one-tap us with a big enough hit. Definitely the Dragoner could. I don't know if the Cavalry could. Good hit on him. His horse has got to be low. Have any Jareds left? I do. Okay. 
Soften up their horses some more. Oh, and actually hit a guy. Nice. <laughs> Bring him back. No. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. Hey, play this safe. Play this safe. If we win this. This is huge. Keep in mind, this is bank. It's just us, because we don't. We kill all these guys. We're not sharing their loot with anybody. This is all going to me. Oh, how did that not hit? This sword has 110 reach. Swore we were close enough to hit that guy. Ooh, 138. They have some good horses. Alright. Nice. They've all got to be about to die. Except for Dragoner's horse. I'm sure his horse has like 500 HP. And we're only doing like 30 a hit to it. Alright, there we go. One more horse down. Alright, I really don't want to deal with you guys on foot. If I'm being honest. Alright. <laughs> let's, let's run away from those guys on foot. Not much they can really fucking do about it. We'll come back for these guys. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. They're actually, I forgot, they're really good with lances in this mod. Like, they're really agile with them. Like, they'll aim from anywhere from here to here. So you gotta be really careful. It's not like normal when you're charging got down a guy with a couch lance and you can just kind of stay outside their range. These guys have tremendous range. In terms of the angle they will hit you at with their lance. Alright, here we go. I got the rider's horse down. So it's just one cavalry and one dragoner. Alright, alright, alright. We're good, we're good. How much does our lance do? 91? That'll do. That'll do. Uh, not enough time to couch. I mean, the lance is... That's Ron's specialty. That's what uh, young Rohirrims grow up with. Horses and lances from the very beginning. Alright, we are not doing much to this guy's horse. This thing's one tanky pony. But, if we can separate him from the rest of the group, we should be able to take him out, what, second? And I believe the first couple units that you kill in a battle, you have a greater chance of, of getting their loot. Alright, so what we want to do is couch lance this guy. <laughs> That's what we want to do. Oh, he fucking ducked us. Clever girl. Clever girl. Alright, let's try it again. We got one more try before he'll probably catch up to the rest, and it's going to be a lot harder to solo him. Boom. Oh my goodness. 436 XP, a level up, and six pole arm proficiency from that one lance. Hell yeah. Alright, bring it back, baby. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. <laughs> Ow. We're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Wow, the Dragon Writer is worth 172? I thought that guy was trash. Hmm. It's a lot. It's going to be a lot harder to couch lance this group of guys than I thought. Oh, not when one of them separates off like that. Oh, that was close. He was coming in for his own lance strike. The rest of these guys don't have lances, though. Or at least not lances as long as Ron's, if you catch my drift. All right, there we go. Pole arm is going straight up. I lied. There's another one. I didn't see that guy. Damn it. All right, good news is they haven't done too much damage to us yet. Let's level up. Uh, a little bit of this. A little bit of... Um Shield? Hmm. What do we want? Iron Flash? Eh. Any of these look good? Wound treatment. Eventually we're going to want a lot of wound treatment. Because that's how we heal ourselves. Or no, first aid. First aid is how we heal ourselves. Uh. Whew. We'll do that. We'll do that for right now. Where's the guy with the lance? Looking away. Oh, thank God. Alright, plus seven pole line proficiency. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, the guy with the lance. Or with the spear, we're gonna want to take out with our sword. Let's see if we can get his friend here. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Obama, 2016. 
or 2012, I mean. Nice. Yeah, see, when you got a spear guy like that, all you gotta do is just kind of stay in his face and they can't do much. Beautiful! Oh, come on. Give me the good news, baby. Come on. Give me the good news. 32 renown is beautiful. That's beautiful. What? That's it. Also, we wasted a ton of money by buying this, apparently. <laughs> we can, This has identical stats. Damn. Uh, Alright, 43 and 2. That's at least better. We'll take that. Damn it. For real? Alright. Our lance is better. I mean, this will at least sell for a decent amount. And 1,200 worms is not too shabby either. Alright. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> we'll take that. Alright, so we, we're almost at 30 strength. Now, admittedly, we gave ourselves 6 strength to start it off. So, I mean, that's not that big of an accomplishment. But still, looking good. Looking good. Uh, we're going to put this last point into what? I do kind of like the idea of first aid. Just because that allows us to use that skill in battle more often. Or not more often, but it allows it to heal us more. Actually, be meaningful. Uh, okay, so we'll do this. Let's get some points. Basically, in the areas that we're not going to be training up ourselves. All that much. Just in case, you know, we get those weapons in the tournament. We don't want to be completely useless with it. Alright, so let's sell this off. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this first episode up here. Hopefully you boys enjoyed. This is one of the... I think this might be the best first episode we've ever had. Like, just fantastic. The fact that we came in... Put it all on black. We bet all of our chips on... Not even on black. We bet all of our chips on, you know... What? The... The... <laughs> zero? Is, is that what the, the green one is in, in roulette? We put all of our chips on zero. Hit by winning the tournament. Got ourselves a girlfriend. And now... Things are just going great. Things are going great for us. Let's sell off some of this stuff. Alright. That's a decent amount of chunk. That's a decent amount of change. Boom. Back up to 3,000. We're in a good place. We're in a good place. So, uh, we're going to wrap this one up here. If this gets, uh, let's say like 200, 250, two, yeah, 250 likes, I will make sure to upload another episode of this tomorrow. And uh, I'll even make a promise. If these episodes can get 250 likes, I will continue to upload another episode the day after until... Well, at least until this weekend. I can do that until this weekend when I start working again. Uh, but hopefully you guys are liking this as much as I am. I, ooh, I'm glad I'm back in Prisno and we're just getting started, baby. But until next time, as always, take it easy.